Once upon a time, not so long ago, TV executives had a wonderful idea. An idea for a top-rating TV show that would have an entire nation glued to their seats every Saturday night. A hard-fought competition that would allow young hopefuls a crack at stardom, where they'd face a harsh panel of judges and be torn apart critically in front of millions of viewers, with only their dreams of stardom and chance success to keep them going. So, 30 years before Fame Academy and Pop Stars, there was New Faces, a well-behaved talent show without egos, tears, and in a distressingly large number of cases, actual talent. Irishman who walked into a baker shop and said, Oi, what's the idea of forging my signature on your hot cross buns? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> he, he called Ted Arthur. Who the hell's Arthur? Yesterday I was happy to play for a penny or two a song Till a fella in a black sedan Took a shine to my one man band He said we got plans for you You'd never dream You're a star, you're the star With all my suit and a new guitar And I know that you'll go far Cause you're a star Yes, it's the New Faces All Winners Show. And here is your host for the night, Derek Hobson. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome once again. Yes, we're all in evening wear tonight because it's a winner's show. And uh, you saw on those opening titles there some of the faces that were in our last All Winners final last year. Well, tonight we're looking for an act to go into the All Winners final of this series. Already we know that Roger de Courcy is there, we know that Jim Davidson is there, and we also know that Sparrow have made the final. Which one of the six wins tonight will depend on the two panels that we have here in the studio. We have a viewers panel in the audience. We've got a record saleswoman. We also have a, a nursery school supervisor. We have a, a gentleman from the post office at one end, and a, a man who's a courier at the other end. I don't know why we're all going abroad at the present in this marvelous weather. That's our viewers panel tonight. I'll be talking to them later on, but first, let's meet the four professional panelists over here. These are our panelists tonight, welcoming back for the second time in the series, Mr. Sean Taylor. Besides Sean, we have another gentleman coming back for the second time, Brian Blackburn, back from Montreux, where he was a judge, Johnny Hamp, and at the end, from Radio Wonderful, Mr. Noel Edmonds. Our viewers panel come from all corners of the country, these gentlemen from all corners of the Birmingham Labour Exchange, and tonight they've got six acts that they've got to uh, find a winner from to go into that fantastic All Winners Gala, and off, of course, then to Las Vegas to the overall winning act. We meet the first of those six acts tonight. They're from Walsall, two uh, super kids who sing in perfect harmony. They did extraordinarily well on the first uh, show they were on with a Daniel Boone number. They've chosen another Daniel Boone number this time. It's called Keep Moving. And we're going to move on to Paul and Avis. Come on. 
much, right. A nice happy start to the program. Uh, Paul and Avis with a song called Keep Moving. That's their latest record. It's released on Monday. Would Shaw Taylor buy it? Uh, yes, yes, I would. I would go out and buy it. I think this young couple have got great potential, Derek. Uh, it's a rather nice balance, isn't it, to have the, the girl older than the boy. In fact, having big sis looking after a younger brother. And I think she is the strength of this act. The girl at the moment is putting over all the personality. But I want to see a little Paul now. He's got a lovely little cheeky grin that creeps in every so often. <laughs> and I think it would be rather nice to just capitalise on that cheeky grin a little bit more and almost sort of just taking the mickey out of sis, just a, a little bit. At oh. the moment, she's putting over most of the personality, but I think they've got... Uh, I think they're going to do extremely well, this couple. I would give one word of warning, because I remember, what, I'm going back now about 15 years when I was a disc jockey myself, and I saw kids being shipped down from Liverpool, uh, given an audition, and either they made it or they didn't, and they were shipped back broken-hearted. This little couple have got... Plenty of time to make it. I don't think they should rush I'm it. Not, I'm going to move to Brian on this, but I want to move down to Noel, if I can, at the end, just to sum up. I mean, would this be the sort of thing that could happen in the pop business at the present, Noel? I'm all for, for any uh, act which has got a different line-up at the moment. I mean, I think it's refreshing, but I think they've got a market identity problem, if that doesn't sound too verbose, because who is going to buy their kind of records? I think it is the mums and dads who are going to think, predominantly think, ah, oh, that's rather nice. Um, yeah. I mean, I can't imagine sort of, well, maybe five-year-old girls mm. will freak out to Paul and say, oh, he's lovely, and <laughs> rush out and buy records. But I I'm just wonder who will buy their records. OK, um, I'm not leaving out you two in the middle, but you, we'll come to you in the next act, all right, sir, Brian and all Johnny? Right. Okay, Why don't yeah. we go to the <laughs> second of those acts tonight? <laughs> you tried to I took too long, didn't Well, you? Uh, something like that. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that at all, sure. <laughs> anyway, this is the second act, and it's lovely to see a speciality act in a winner's show. We never have had a speciality act on the show before. They baffled us all the last time they were on. I hope that they are going to uh, baffle you all at home again for the next three minutes as we welcome Chris, North and Jill. <laughs> gentlemen, there are two possible ways for Jill to escape. One is for me to undo all the knots. The other is for the ropes to pass completely through the pole. But that would be impossible. One, two, three, whee! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to show you something now we've had specially imported from Russia. This is called the Margaret Thatcher, otherwise known as the Iron Maiden. Inside the box is a rack of steel spikes. Now the spikes move backwards and forwards through the box. I'll show you what I mean. Now, the most vital ingredient is Jill, and we'll pop her inside the box. We'll have a little look at her face. I'm going to turn the box completely round so you could see it from every side and every angle.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do next is push the spikes completely through Jill and out of the front of the box. I think we better have a little look and see if she's all right. Are you all right? No. No? What's the matter? My bra, it's come undone. Your bra's come undone. Just a minute, I'll see if I can fix it. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I do. I'll look after it till after we've finished. And once again, we'll take the spikes out of the box. Once again, completely round the box. And now with a little bit of luck, complete hole in one piece, the lovely Jill. North with his able-bodied assistant, very able-bodied. <clears throat> In fact, all the men wanted to take their bow ties off during that. Right, Brian Blackburn. <laughs> what did you think of this? Well, as long as Chris North doesn't keep the running out of partners, I think he has a very big future in the show business. Yeah. Um, I like to see acts, uh, magic acts with intriguing um, objects that they're using, intriguing apparatus. And I think Jill had very intriguing apparatus. <laughs> and I think it was very nice of Arthur Askey to stand inside that cabinet and pass the bra out. <laughs> <Very nice. laughs> but I think they're a marvellous act. They only had three minutes and they did two very marvellous tricks. Thank you, very Brian. Good. Lovely. Uh, Johnny Hamm. That is the trouble, I think. You know, that with the magic act, you need a lot longer time. And in fact, I've used this act on the Wheel Tappers and Shunters. And I think they do about uh, 14 minutes. And, uh, you know, they, they do marvellous audience participation things. And they're a very, very strong act. Very strong act, uh, Noel. Very yes, strong very act. Very good. They, they, they did the. I'm not going to get involved with this. Yes. All this sexual talk. I don't know. Um, <laughs> last time they were on, they did the zigzag lady thing, yes. and that really worked marvellously. And I don't think they came over quite so well this time. But I mean, they are very, very good. I'll very let good. the last word be with Shaw Taylor, whose glasses steamed. Well, I just. Uh, <laughs> Just to complete that act, it would have been nice to see Jill come out, drink a glass of water and leak like a yeah. watering can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, <laughs> the mind boggles. Uh, all right, well, we don't mark, of course, so you can gather that by now. We don't mark these acts until the end of the programme, if you're wondering what's happened to all the scoring tonight. We are now going to go up to our first commercial break with a, a fellow who, when he came on the show, stunned us all with his magnificent piano playing, so much so that we've decided to take the piano away from him this time. Indeed, he's going to do a lovely line of patter for the next few minutes, and I'm sure you'll welcome him warmly, Mr. Johnny Hammond. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful audience. Fantastic. You, know, you, you wouldn't believe seeing me standing here in sartorial splendor tonight that I come from one of the hardest areas in the world, bar none. Hardly, Paul, don't mention it. We do. Honestly, it is a terrible area. We had wall-to-wall -wall filth. <laughs> in the summer, it was worse. We were the only family in the street that kept a pig as an air freshener. <laughs> Hard times. I know you think I want to talk about the hard I'm talking about the hard times. In comparison with our family, Oliver Twist was spoiled. <laughs> hey, it's faster all together, like the band. Thank you. Are you over there no? This is true. And clothes, you know, we, we, got, we got our clothes from the army surplus store. What a picture we cut on a Saturday when we went shopping. My dad dressed as a Japanese admiral. <laughs> My mum dressed as a 1914 Gurkha. <laughs> My sister's Florence Nightingale, without the candle, she really walked like that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> and the rest of us are four boys as land army girls. It was very embarrassing. <laughs> enough of that, enough of that. Enough of this film. But that's the way it goes. Can I just do one? Are we allowed to do just one Irish guy tonight, Derek? You don't mind, because Tony Hatch is not with us. He doesn't like Irish guys, Tony Hatch, but he's not with us tonight. 
is in hospital suffering from megalomania. But <laughs> I like that little bus. But this is <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Go over there now. Why? You got it, eh? I've got it. It's gone. Do apologize. One, one, okay, beautiful story about, about an Irishman who goes to the optician for, to have the eyes tested. And the optician said, right, Mr. Murphy, he said, I want you to read the little letters on the card. Put your left hand over your right eye. So he went like that. He said, no, 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 your, your left hand over your right eye. No, no, he said, the left hand. He said, oh, over your right, no, he said, your right He said, no, hang on a minute. And he got a cornflakes pack and he emptied it and he cut a little hole in it. And he put it on the Irishman's head. He said, now read the little letters on the card. And the Irishman started to cry. And the optician said, what are you crying for? He said, I wanted gold rim ones like my brother. <laughs> Boy, I worry about that. Oh, the music. Oh, the music. It's a... Uh, keep those lights still. Thank you very much. We're going to sing a song. We're going to sing a song. Called If and F. Do we have any, any Jack Jones fans in the audience tonight? I'm glad you said that, because I'm a union man myself. <laughs> echo. echo. Can we have some echo? It's a beautiful song, ladies and gentlemen, uh, called If in F. Echo, can I have some echo? No echo. Well, Trevor Chan's got echo. Le th there's no... I'm down the bill, you say. There's no echo. I do apologise, ladies and gentlemen. There's no echo. We'll, we'll just pretend there's an echo. Go <laughs> <coughs> on, Johnny. Follow me like the corporation horse. <laughs> Stop. If a pig, 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 I've come to know, no, 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 no. <laughs> and if a face, 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 face could launch a thousand, thousand, thousand ships, 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 then where, 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 where am I to go, 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 go? I think I'm gonna get to hell, 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 hell. <laughs> no, 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 no one home but you, 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 you. Stay with me, boys. <laughs> it's a French horn player. <laughs> Has left me too. One. One now. By one star, we'll all go out. And you and I would say. Thank you. Welcome back. This is Johnny Hammond, who did about ten different acts all day, but eventually came up with one on the night. I wonder whether that appealed to you, Johnny Ham. Yes, terrific. I, you know, I've produced the comedians what for three and a half years. I must have heard, I suppose, ninety-eight thousand jokes. I hadn't heard one of Johnny's. I, I thought it was true. A little bit disappointed that he spent so long on the time uh, on the song, so much time on the song. Because uh, I would like to have heard more of those gags. I think his, his delivery is terrific. Well, you're and sitting uh, beside, of course, a scriptwriter there, Brian Blackburn. Now, Brian, what about that material? Were you happy? Well, I think that uh, John achieved the impossible. He came on at the beginning of the show, sorry, and he did three minutes, and he really got the audience going. Very, very difficult, John. I take off my hat to you. You're a great, spontaneous comedian. Uh, what, what did you think, Shaw? Did well, you I loved it, because I love that sort of throwaway type of humour, where you just throw the gag away, and if you don't get it, you miss it, <laughs> and right. you're on to the next one yeah. immediately. Yeah. For me, it's marvellous. Good, thank you. I'm probably the very last person at the end, I haven't left you out, no. Right. The sort of humour you would use on your... Uh, 
radio program? Unfortunately, no, I'm not that clever. I think it's, uh, <laughs> I'd like to just uh, reiterate the point that you made about the fact he's been doing different ones all day. Right. I mean, this has been going on. We've been suffering like mm. mad. It's been going on all day. Well done. Very Thank good. you very much. All right, well, that's what they think about Johnny Hammond. We move on next uh, to Liverpool, in fact, to four young gentlemen who made a very big impression on this program when they sang a song called You Just Might See Me Cry. I think we've got so many people at home crying that they want to hear this particular number again. So tonight, making their second appearance on New Faces, singing that same number, You Just Might See Me Cry, welcome our kid. <laughs> Just might see me cry. Hey, be so not gonna leave hear me when you go on say goodbye. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Keep on, keep on walking. Don't turn around. Cause if you do. Just might see me cry. You don't have to give a reason. You don't have to tell me why. Oh, I ask of you is don't turn around. Cause if you do, you just might. They should be strong. They should be strong. But I'm losing you, little girl, and never left you for so long, for so long. I was just working it out there. The combined ages of, the, of that act add up to 20 years less than Arthur Askey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's really, I've got to wire that silly bit of uh, information. Uh, Noel Edmonds, off you go. Um, I've got to start off by congratulating them on uh, being that professional at that age. I'm a little bit worried about the uh, Thunderbirds reject sort of style of moving. I think the whole thing, I kept looking for the strings. Uh, I think the whole thing is over choreographied. Uh, the Americans do this so well. They can do the movements, the feet movements, the arms, and they make it look very natural. Considering the market that I think they can survive in, they've got to look at the Osmonds, because I think, although I'm not the greatest Osmonds fan in the world, the Osmonds family can do those movements and make them look very natural. And unfortunately, the, the lads were looking around a bit, and oh. that detracted from the music they were making. All right, thank you. Sean? Sure. Um, I've got to back up what Noel says, and as much as I think there are four lovely kids there trying to struggle out of grey flannel. I don't think it's a good idea to trust them up in, in suits. They're going to be old men soon enough. I mean, why, why start now? They're a little bit too professional 
for their age. I would like to see their natural personalities come across, and I think they would, if they hadn't been quite so regimented in, in, in their way of presentation. Okay, I remember one thing, going to you, Brian, the last time you were on, I think this act was on, and you said something about uh, they had star quality now, didn't you? Uh, yeah, naturally, it was Paul and Avis oh, that were on. I'm sorry, the I other two got it wrong. The young children that yeah, were on. Yeah. And uh, it's amazing, the acts get younger every week on this show. It's very, very <laughs> new faces. And the panel. And the panel, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, I must say, I like the look of them. All right. I like the look of them, uh, and it's, it's very nice as a father to see three, two, three boys with uh, clean faces. Oh, very nice. all right. Thank very you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I can tell you that that has a record, incidentally, the song that they were singing, and that they've got a summer season with Ken Goodwin and Frank Ifield and Great Yarmouth. Good luck with that, gentlemen. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. Well, now... Turn of a lovely lady to sing for you in this programme. Now, the last time she was on, she chose a Gladys Knight number, Part Time Love. It's a bit more up tempo this time. In fact, I think it was Kiki D who had a really uh, good, uh, successful record with How Glad I Am. We're glad to see and hear now Simone. <laughs> And my love won't bend. I'm in the middle, lost in a spin. Loving you, and you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know how glad I am. Makes my love wider than wide. I'm in the middle, and I can't hide. Just to love in you, just to love in you. And you don't know, you don't know, baby, how bad I am. Oh, no, you don't know you don't. 
get no say on the panel, but that's my sort of music. I do like that. Sure, Taylor. Um, I think she's great. I know if you remember, Derek, but I became a new face on the program that brought her on to, onto this one as a yeah. winner. And uh, nothing I've seen just now makes me detract from thinking that she really is going to go places, this girl. I really, I really do think she is, because she isn't just a singer with orchestral backing. She has this knack of making her voice another instrument in the orchestra. She becomes a lead instrument in the orchestra. I think Johnny Patrick will, will go along with this. Yeah. That you don't have to back her, you just play along with her. And it's just I part must of the say, for song. Johnny's sake, I thought he backed, them, backed her very Beautiful. well. Beautiful. Yes, 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 why not? Yes, Brian, 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 on to you. I agree, I thought it was a very good arrangement, and I think Simone has a very good arrangement. I think she's a very, very good singer. I saw on that show before, and yeah. I think she was better tonight than she was on the first show. There's a touch of Cleo Lane there, but she, uh, she's a, a very, very good singer indeed. Right, on to you, John. Yeah, I was on the panel when she won last mm. time. And she did a slower and, uh, number then, too. Yeah. yeah, but, I mean, she's improved tremendously. I mean, she's actually using cameras this time. She's looking at cameras and working on it. Presumably, this is the second time she's been in the television studio. And uh, nothing's made my, me change my mind. She's terrific. Thank you very much. Having a good time for you this time, Noel, but don't worry. I haven't <laughs> forgotten you at the end there. I'll come to you later. <laughs> We're going to take uh, a break. Yes, because we've got one more act to see. We also have to hear from that viewer's panel. We have a guest artist to meet, very fine singer indeed, who did remarkably well uh, and is uh, d doing remarkably well after being on New Faces. And we'll know from our panel which act comes to our all-winners gala final in July. But that's all in a couple of minutes from now. We take that break. Welcome back to this, our winner's program. Tonight we're seeing six acts, uh, all of whom have won on this program before, and one of these acts will be coming to our All Winners Gala final, and who knows, on to the MGM Las Vegas uh, as the overall winner of the whole series. Tonight, our viewers panel, David Starr from London. David, uh, which of the five acts which you've seen so far do you like? So far, Simone. Why Simone? It's my kind of music. That's your kind of music. I don't blame good. you either. Yes, it's my kind of music too. But anyway, on now to Christine Gill, who's from Lancashire. Christine, which of the five do you like? Um, I'm going for Simone as well. Ah, and would you like to uh, tell us uh, any reasons why? Um, I saw her last time, and I preferred her singing the Gladys Knight number. Mm. But um, I think she's pretty good. She's pretty good. Thank you. Don't don't get too serious, love. You know we're not going to bite you. I promise. On next to Phyllis Mannering from Rochester in Kent. Uh, Phyllis, I think you're the first lady from Kent that we've had on the panel. Maybe I'm wrong. Which, which uh, of the uh, five so far do you like? Our kid. Our kid. Now, why would you say that? I think they're fantastic kiddos. Very well produced. And whoever produced them, I think, should take some of the credit. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> And finally, from, is it Liverpool? Yes, it did. We've got Sid Marquis, or the Marquis de Sid. Anyway, hello. How are you, Sid? Yes, you're the talker tonight. You're the carrier, aren't you? Well, I've got the responsibility tonight, Derek. And which of the acts do you like so far? Well, there's only one act in it for me, and it's, I agree with my colleague here. It's our kid. Thank you. And uh, spill that. I'd like to say I disagree with Noel Edmonds when he said uh, that uh, he didn't think that they're doing what the Osmonds are doing at the moment, as good as the Osmonds, should I say. I think in time that, uh, with the right, you know, the right uh, guidance, and uh, professional experience behind them, they'll be better than the Osmonds. All right, you're a brave man to stand up to no level. Right, right. Yeah, go there. All right, we're going on. This is the last of the six acts tonight. You heard them last week as winners sing Shorten and Brad. Now it's Lady Put the Light On and listen to Cops. Run 
away It was only yesterday But now I'm here to stay I do love It doesn't matter now I'll get you anyhow Come on, take a bow Cause I do love She put the light on She put the light on Seen the lot. That's the six acts. The last act there was Cops, Brian Blackburn. Well, I must say there have been so many good acts on tonight's show, I, I may have to call him my doctor of a second opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Cops very much indeed. I saw them on the show last week. I was very arrested by their performance. <laughs> oh. I, like the, I like the look of them. And I know now, what, looking at them, why they were last on the bill. It took them half an hour to lace up their boots. <laughs> very good. Very You've good got act. four good gags in there. Not bad. Right off the top. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Jolly hell. Didn't look yeah. at my notes. You did, though. No. <laughs> Leaving their address will be in touch with you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I think they're a very uh, good group, above average, I'd say. But there's so many groups around these days that yeah. it's very difficult. And I think the, the, the uh, strength of the talent on the show tonight has been so strong that... Uh, I think they've been overshadowed by some of the other acts, I must say. Well, we'll, we'll see that a little later on. And Noel, I mean... Uh... Yeah, I've got to disagree with uh, Tony Blackburn's son there. <laughs> and, uh, I think it's very important, whatever act you're doing, whether it's comedy or, or whatever, speciality act, it's very important to not only believe in what you're doing, but to be seen to be believing in it. And I thought that was the weakness, that I wasn't convinced that they were enjoying themselves or they believed in the song or that what they was w were wearing really fitted into what they were trying to get over. So okay. more conviction in it. More me. conviction. And to the man who eavesdrops no his teen Teddy teenagers, ra ra radio and record player, <laughs> Shaw Taylor. Well, you've got to be very careful because it's not my sort of music, but it doesn't blind me to the fact that what they are making, I should think, is a very good sound for the people who like it. I think so. And what a varied show tonight. If I yes, was a absolutely. booker, I'd just book the whole show and put it in for the absolutely. summer. Absolutely. A booker out there booked this whole lot. OK. All right. Thank you very much, panel. Well, that's it. We're going to take a break for a while now because we're going to let the panel reflect on those six acts and also our viewers' panel as well uh, before we find the winner tonight. That gives us an opportunity to welcome back as a special guest on this winner's programme the man who was the first ever winner of a New Faces show. Uh, it was in August 1973. Well, since then, he's made a, a fine reputation for himself in the music business, on television, on radio, and I'm sure that for the next few minutes you're going to be equally impressed at home listening to the talents of Mr. Trevor Chance. <laughs> Come taste the wine, come hear the band, come blow your horn, start celebrating, right this way your table's waiting, what good is sitting alone in your room, come on hear the music play, life is a cabaret, old chum. Come to the cabaret Put down your knitting and your book and your broom It's time for a holiday Life is a cabaret, old chum Come to the cabaret This time I'll 
be lucky And maybe this time she'll stay This time she'll stay Maybe this time For the first time Love won't hurry away In my favor And it's just bound To begin It's gotta happen And happen sometime Maybe this time I'll win Everybody That's why nobody loves me I'm Mr. Peaceful Mr. Happy That's how I've got to be All the odds are in my favor chair is still a chair even when there's no one sitting there but a chair is not a house and a house is not a home when there's no one there to hold you tight and no one there you can kiss good night A room is still a room Even when there's nothing there but gloom But a room is not a house And a house is not a home When the two of us are far apart and one of us has a broken heart. Now and then I call your name, and suddenly your face appears. But it's just a crazy game. Darling, have a heart Don't let one mistake keep us apart I'm not meant to live alone Turn this house into a home When I climb the stair Turn the key, oh please be there Call your name And suddenly your face appears But it's just a crazy game When it ends It ends in tears 
Jesus. So, darling, have a heart. Don't let one mistake keep us apart. I am not meant to live alone. Turn this house. chance I'm sure winning even more fans that ever increasing army of his thank you very much indeed Trevor and good luck great on now we're going to our scoring tonight and this is the very important bit we've got to find remember a winner to go into that all winners gala on July the 31st and the way we do the marking 100 marks each panelist has to give to each act and I'm going to ask Noel Edmonds first of all to give his marks for all six acts no Really own up time. Uh, I think I ought to say straight away, Paul and Avis, well done, because they started to uh, they started heading a very, very strong bill indeed, which can't have been easy. 79 points I'd like to give to Paul and Avis. Um, for Chris North and Jill, I'd like to see a bit more humour in this, but they were very, very good tonight, and for the first time, 81 points. Yes. Uh, Johnny Hammond, uh, no points. <laughs> <laughs> well, he might get big-headed, because he really, he really is marvellous. 92. Um, for our kid, if they cut out the semaphore, they could break the American domination of this kind of thing. I'm optimistic and I'd give them 85 points. Simone I thought was very good and I hope watching this program is the sort of man who can give her the heavyweight management that yep. I think she needs and I'd give her 87 and finally Cox at 66. Thank you very much. Well, that means Johnny Hammond leaves. And if I could ask the other three panellists to preface their marks with just a short comment and then go straight through the marking. On you go then, Johnny. Yes, well, Paul and Avis, I think, need a lot more experience, so I've given them 65. Uh, Chris North and Jill, um, I've given 71. Right. Um, Johnny Hammond, I thought, wasn't quite as good on transmission as he was on rehearsal, um, although I've given him 82 points because I know the potential's there. Um, our kid, I, I don't know whether they're going to win a trip to Las Vegas now, but uh, if they were appearing there now, they'd tear them apart. I know yeah. that's just what they love over there. I've given them 70. Simone, um, for me, wins this week, and I've given her 83, and Cops, 68. Which means, I think, that Johnny Hammond still leads. I think it's only marked from the other two panellists now. Uh, on you go. Um, Paul and Avis, 88. Thank you. Chris North and Jill, 86. Johnny Hammond, 90. Our Kid, 89. Simone, 88. Cops, 89. Johnny Hammond still leading by a few points. Simone is in second place by, I think, about five points. On now to you, Short Taylor. So it's all down to me. Yes, this is going to make me sweat, isn't it? <laughs> yes, right. Paul and Avis, I give 80 points. Chris, North and Jill, 70. Johnny Hammond, who I thought was first class, 95 points. Our kid, 70. Simone, almost at the top, 98 points. And Cops, 90. Thank you. Our kid is in third place. In second place is Simone. And the winner by just three points. And the man you'll see on our All Winners Gala is Mr. Johnny Hammond. Leading by just three points. Can I go to our viewers panel? What did you think? Well, yes. Derek, um, we disagree with the panel. Our did favourite you vote for our kid. Our kid. All right. You see. Well, 
That means we'll be seeing our kid once again on another show. They get a chance to come back to new faces and be reassessed, but that's really it from our panel. Short, did you enjoy yourself, Short? I loved it. I loved it. Oh, yes. I loved it. Weren't hunting criminals, but uh, hunting <laughs> talent tonight. Yes, <laughs> right. great. And uh, Brian Blackburn? It was such a good show, I would have paid to see it. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Johnny, Hamp and Noel Edmonds. That's it, then, for another week. Next week, we're back with seven brand-new acts for you on the show. But for now, of course, the stage belongs to the winning act. And that is Mr Johnny Hammond. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>